Hi everyone, this is Dr. Stefan. In this one, I'd like to just address one thing and just give you one piece of a quick advice. Please do not panic. Do not worry so much about pulse oximeter readings. Everyone buys a pulse oximeter these days. They, everyone goes to the shop. You can find them in any shop, especially after COVID because they were selling like bread. So I'll read you this comment and then you tell me what you think first if you want in the comments and then I'll tell you what I think. So thanks doctor for excellent information about the pulse oximeter. My pulse rate showing 115. Asthmatic oxygen saturation shows 97. Having trembling in fingers, age 58. Any advice? What do you think? Do you think this person is ill or not? Do they think? Do you think they are in trouble? Do you think they need to go to the hospital? Do you need to? Do they need to go seek medical attention? What What do you think? So I will tell you what I think. In most cases, I I, I cannot judge. I'm not your doctor. I don't know this person. There's someone writing these things online. So you can imagine that for me, answering some of these questions is always difficult. There's always the risk that I will give bad advice. So please always check with your own health providers, use your common sense, see how well or unwell you're feeling and then make a decision whether you need medical attention or not. But in most situations, I'll just say this. The fact that you have asthma doesn't mean that you're automatically ill all the time. You can have days and months even when you're absolutely fine. Oxygen saturation showing 97%. That is normal. It rarely hits 99, <laughs> so basically that's unusual. The normal oxygen saturation is generally above 94%. You can consider that to be normal. It also depends on how the pulse oximeter probe is placed on your finger. Sometimes when you put it on, it will show maybe a lower value and then go back and stabilize around where it should be. So always when you're using a pulse oximeter probe, put it on your finger, make sure the finger is warm enough, the blood flowing through it, it's not really cold, you haven't just come out from the cold and then putting the pulse oximeter on. If you have nail polish, probably it won't read as well, try to move it to the side a little bit so that it, uh, the light goes through actual you know, finger tissue rather than your nail polish. So all these things matter. Do not think that just because you've put the oxygen probe on, it shows you a number, that's the, the number. Let it run for about 10, 20 seconds, let it stabilize at some values, and these are usually um, the correct ones. Now, if it is generally above 94%, you're probably fine. The oxygen levels are fine. Sometimes, even if they're lower than that, depending on your condition, it may be normal for you. So some people who have a little bit of uh, lung disease, chronic lung disease, they may, have slightly they may run slightly lower oxygen saturation, and that's still fine for them. Discuss with your doctor if you've been prescribed an oxygen probe, if you, they want you to use one, try to see what's the situation there. So don't always judge that number for the oxygen, the SpO2 number as being all that you need to look at. So if it's low, you automatically need to go into hospital. Of course, if your doctor advised you to use that to monitor your condition, then you need to follow their advice. But the pulse rate, the pulse rate is a big, big it's a biggie, okay? Let's just, just, just say that. The pulse rate always goes up and down in anyone. If I run around my room, probably me speaking now, talking to the camera, probably my pulse rate will go up to the hundreds. It's something that can happen because I'm, I'm doing something active. My body moves around. I'm speaking. I'm exerting myself somewhat. My pulse rate will go up. That's normal. So it can go up to a hundred and above a hundred. If I'm exercising, if I'm running, it can go up to maybe 180. This can happen. So if you go to the gym and you're on a treadmill, for example, you're running, you're sweating, you can't breathe anymore, probably your pulse rate is really, really high. And that's absolutely fine. It will go down as the body's needs decrease. But you can imagine that your pulse rate adjusts to your oxygen needs in the body to how much circulation is required to different tissues, muscles, etc. However, just to say that in some people, if you are having a pulse rate that's around 100 or more, at rest, you are completely relaxed, you're not anxious at all, you haven't had any coffee, any energy drinks, you're not emotional, you haven't just come out of uh, the gym, you haven't just climbed many stairs, you've been doing things around the house. If you're completely relaxed, completely at rest, and your heart rate is still above 100, then you may want to mention this to your doctor. Sometimes there can be situations in which 
there is a problem. But I wouldn't obsess about the readings on the pulse oximeter, if you can. Uh, please use your common sense and adjust this uh, to your own situation. I'm trying to reassure people with some of these videos because sometimes people panic a lot and they look for things online, they look at the numbers and they think that means everything. But it's the same with blood pressure as well. Blood pressure can go up and down. You need to take your blood pressure, for example, when you're at rest. You don't take the blood pressure when you've just come out um, from from the gym, you you don't do it when when you've just been uh, on the phone arguing with someone because your blood pressure will run high. It's the same with the pulse rate; they go up and down. And the oxygen saturation, I hope I've clarified that that if it is generally above ninety four percent, it's probably normal. Sometimes above ninety percent for some individuals can be their normal, which is not necessarily completely normal, but it may be the right level for them. So again, discuss with your healthcare provider if you are indeed worried about your health, if you're feeling unwell, but otherwise, you know, try not to obsess about these numbers. You need to use these in the correct context and try to ask your doctor how and when you should use a pulse oximeter, because if you're just using it all the time, every five minutes to check your readings, it's probably not a good thing to do. It doesn't really add that much to your life, only stress. Hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you in future videos.